Hey everyone, video 4 bt here. Today I want to show you how to conform footage right in After Effects. So if you have your footage already imported to the project bin on the left, and you hover over one of the shots and you click on it, you'll see some info displayed on the top. Now all these shots are at a frame rate of 59.94. And I want to get them all to 23.976. So to do that, you right click on your desired shot, go to interpret footage, and go to main. And the reason it's called interpret footage is because traditionally when you conform footage, you're, you're creating a whole new file, um, you know, duplicate file on the hard drive that is actually at your desired frame rate. Whereas interpreting footage means that the Adobe software just reads it as 23.976, it doesn't actually create or change the original file. So that being said, let's go ahead and go to main. And then right here, if you click conform to frame rate, you change that to 23.976. And then you hit OK. You'll see it's been conformed. And if you play it back, is now slowed down. So to do multiple ones, it's a little trickier. It's not too confusing though. But um, you go to the one you already conformed, you right click it, go to interpret footage, and go to remember interpretation. Now it, it pretty much copied it to a clipboard, so to speak. And to apply it to all of them, you highlight all the clips and to do that you click where you want to start hold shift and then click the bottom one and then you right click anywhere on them go to interpret footage and apply interpretation and now if you look at the info up here they are all 23.976 so you conformed all the footage down to 23.976 inside after effects and now you want to export them all and create a whole folder of all this slowed down footage. Now to do that, all you gotta do is, oh, well, first of all, let, let's create a couple new folders. So let's have our assets in here. And then we're gonna create some compositions so we can export them. So let's just create a whole new folder. Now, first thing we're gonna do is highlight them all right click and go to new comp from selection. And then you want to be multiple compositions. So you hit okay. And then let's go ahead and drag these down to the comps folder. Now they're all separated and organized. Now to export these all at once, you highlight them all, go to composition, add to Adobe media encoder queue. And it'll take a second to bring up the media encoder. Okay, so there they are. Now they're all good to go. Now to change the settings of one of them, you just go in, you can do a preset uh, codec, and then you can go in and change them. It, similar to how you would in Adobe Premiere if you were exporting. So if, you're, if you've used Adobe Premiere, this looks really familiar. But let's say you wanna change them all to a certain codec or setting. You highlight them all, hold shift, and then click the top one and then the bottom one and you click on any of them, and it will ask you if you want to edit multiple settings. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then, you know, you choose whichever you want. Let's just go ahead and, you know, let's change this to target bit rate of 17. Okay, now you can see they all change the custom. Now, additionally, we will need to set the destination folder for all these to end up in. So let's go ahead and just click any of these. And then we'll export them to finals. Actually, let's create a new folder and call it conformed. There you go, choose. And now they all will export to that folder. And when you go ahead and hit this play button right here, start queue, they will all export at 23.976, as you can see right down here. So that's how you conform footage into After Effects or interpret it is what they call it. 
and that's how you do a batch export.